Hi, Dave Martone here. How are you? I'm here at Radio, and I'm going to play a little stuff for you and tell you why I'm here in a second. Welcome back. I am Dave Martone, as I said, and I'm here at the amazing radio place in Vancouver, Canada. I'm here to talk to you about the new tone bone pedal from radio called the PZDI. And that's this cool unit that's on the ground right here. Now, basically, <coughs> when I'm playing, or when people are playing, sometimes they have two sides of their guitar, as I do. I'll have basically an acoustic side, which you'll hear right here. <laughs> an electric side, which you'll hear right here. Now having two different sides of the guitar, you need to kind of connect these in a professional manner. And that's where the, uh, the brains of the company uh, had come in to design this PZDI. Because when you're hooking stuff together, you're going to get ground loops, there's phasing problems, there's, there's all these things that happen. And when you're on a stage, you don't want this stuff to happen to you. So uh, I helped with them to design this thing. Now, basically, out of the guitar, I'm coming out with a very simple uh, TRS cable, which means tip ring sleeve. Before, there used to be this crazy cable, this ridiculous cable, and it, asked, it used to have two sides. Watch this, follow me for a second. This thing, look at this. I didn't even plan on bringing this, but look at the behemoth cable I used to have to plug in. This massive side over here, to two sides to go out. You know what I say to that? Get that out of there. Now, one cable, TRS is going to go directly into the unit over here. I'm going to turn this around for you for a second. You'll see we have an electric in and, a, and an acoustic in. Right now I'm going into the electric in, and the TRS side, it sees both, and we'll split it up a little bit later. Okay? So first off, the idea is the sound goes into the pedal, and we want to split it up to have two different sides on it. Basically, these are your two different sides, electric and acoustic. Turn on, turn off, the light comes on, the light comes off, it's, it's pretty much that easy. Now, there are some cool doodads that are happening on the acoustic side that we have here first. Basically, we're having some filters happening on it. It's like a low cut and high cut filter, so all you audio engineers, you know what that stuff means. The people that don't, say I'm playing the acoustic side right here. Sometimes when playing through a huge, whopping, you know, 10 million watt PA, the low end, if the sound man is, you know, sleeping or something, you want to roll that off, because that's going to muddy up your sound a little bit. Okay, so for here, I'm going to keep it on because I like to have some bass. Now there's the top end as well too. Sometimes Pazio pickups have a little bit too much of a bright sound on it, on my guitar. It's too bright, so you can kind of put that on and knock some of that stuff off. For now, I'll keep them both just normal. When you are hooking up two different amplifiers sometimes, you're going to get something like this. Doesn't that suck? Can you imagine dealing with your sound like that? You're trying to play and you get this crappy sound. You don't want that. So, we have something, ah, I love that. It's called the ground lift, so you can electrocute yourself. I'm kidding? <laughs> I'm kidding on that. So, basically, that just lifts the ground, so you can plug in two different amps at the same time and eliminate that problem. Another cool feature on this is called the 180 degrees phase switch. Now, for you that guys that don't know about that, 
Phase is a really important thing on your sound. It basically gives you beef or it gives you fluff. And we want beef on our sound, basically. So when you have two different sides hooked up, sometimes the push and pull of the speakers are opposite. And you want them to be the same, so they're pumping in the same. So what I basically do is I'll set the sound on kind of like a, a chunk sound. So I just have, let's see here. And I'll put the acoustic back on. And what I'll do is I'll kind of chunk around both sides to see which one sounds beefier. That one sounds a bit beefier to me. You might not be able to hear it out there, but I can hear it because I was blessed with superhuman hearing. I'm kidding, of course, again, kidding. Now, past that, uh, we have this thing called drag control. That's a cool little feature as well. When you plug in a bunch of pedals sometimes, you want to make sure that you're not losing your sound. And the brilliant engineers at Radial design this uh, drag control to, to do that. When you're plugging a bunch of pedals, sometimes your signal goes down. I'm not going to get into the, the technical uh, jargon of it. But basically, the signal gets degraded a little bit. And we want to keep the signal the same. So what I do is I'll set up like a little bit of a lead patch. <laughs> And I'll just turn the drag control a little bit right now. I won't do that at this point in time because I need a really thin pick and I use a three millimeter pick, so that's, that's not gonna happen for me. But I can use my fingernail as well too. And basically, it makes the sound, you wanna look for the sweet spot that it sounds if you're plugged directly into your amplifier on that. Now, besides that, you have the power output. Also, you have a tuner output as well because you know what? It's cool to be in tune. I don't care what your mom told you. It's cool to be in tune, okay? And um, another cool feature is you have this balanced output, which is the XLR out. I love using that because it takes a direct XLR signal out into the PA for your wrist right there. So I'm not using an acoustic amplifier right now. Nothing is going directly into the PA. You're also hearing a bit of processing on that acoustic signal. It's got an effects loop as well, which is great. That's this thing right here, effects loop for the piezo side, piezo side. Basically, it's coming out of here, which is again a TRS or tip ring sleeve. I'm going into a bit of a reverb off and on, and a little bit of this cool tone bone. Ah, the chorus sound. Gotta love the chorus, huh? Now, you can also have a separate acoustic output if you wanted to go to an acoustic amp as well. Everything is thought of inside this pedal. It's ridiculous. So, you might say, well, why do you want to have two guitars, Dave? Because, you know, it adds a little bit of crispness to the sound. For instance, I'm going to show you. I'm going to play a little bit of something right now. First, I'll play a little bit of a lead idea without the acoustic side on the guitar, okay? Not bad. Now, however, I will put on a bit of the acoustic side. Now watch how the acoustic side brings out the sound a little bit more. Adds a bit of more articulation inside the sound. Wicked, wicked fun. So, that's kind of a brief little talk about how I'll use the new PZDI from Radial. My name is Dave Martone, and I'll talk to you later.